What's going on everybody? This is Best in the Borough with another gameplay commentary. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. This is Friday the 13th. Um, so I know some people were really superstitious about that, but yet it's just another day for us working folk. Um, I got a match here of Domination on Arcadin. Uh, my final KD is 31-5. and five. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good match, but <clears throat> during the match I ended up having a bunch of battery difficulties with my uh, battery and my plug and play neither one were working correctly so uh, I ended up my <coughs> my controller kept dying out on me several times in this match so you're gonna notice several times me just standing still for an indeterminate amount of time um, and in this commentary I wanted to discuss something uh, I wanted to discuss the different kinds of gamers uh, I definitely think you have three different kind of uh, age ranges as far as video gamers go nowadays you have your young gamers, you know, from, I don't know, probably about 7 to about, I'd say maybe the early 20s or so. And then you have probably mid-20s to, you know, mid-40s or so. And following that, you have the 40s to probably 60-year-old crowd because there are some of those out there. Um, and in each age group, you know, you have different kinds of gamers. You have... Uh, you have certain people that just play for fun. They don't care about how they how they do. Um, they just want to have a good time, have fun on there. Um, and then you have other people that w just want to annoy people. They just want to aggravate somebody, piss them off, do little annoying things, um, manipulate the game, glitch, hack, boost, all that fun stuff. So, um, as far as you know, the the levels of proficiency, I'd say the younger crowd. Um, you know, obviously they don't have jobs. Most of them are young enough they don't really have girlfriends or anything as yet. So they have nothing but time to dedicate to playing video games. It's so the only thing they do is their major pastime and their parents pay for it. So they pretty much can get whatever they want when they want it. Um, then you have your, you know, 20s to 40s. And uh, I think most of those are either college kids or... You know, people out there just working. You have a job, but what you really enjoy doing is playing video games. You know, you've grown up playing them. Um, as far as myself, I started on Atari. Then I moved on to Nintendo. And uh, following the Nintendo, I think we went to uh, the original PlayStation. From the original PlayStation, then um, I got my original Xbox. And now I have my 360. So... <laughs> a little bit of a lineage of games there obviously with some arcading in between because anytime I went anywhere with an arcade in the building I was trying to go there um, and then you know the elder the older crowd the 40s and up um, you know they're mostly you know toward the end of their working career some of them are retired and they got into this to gaming and everything the next gen consoles and all that by you know, their kids or grandkids that are interested in it play it and they just happen to see it and next thing that you know they're buying their own stuff. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I got a little I'm not sure my Alright, anyway, so moving on. Um Personally, you know, some little kids are fun to play with, they're cool, they're not too annoying. But mostly a lot of little kids when you get into a lobby they're the first ones that when the match starts to load and it's in the loading screen where you can't see who is being loud and obnoxious is when they want to start screaming and screeching and all that fun stuff. So, personally, I don't really prefer to play with young kids as much. Personally, I would like to see um, adult-only lobbies, but I know they're not going to do that even though, in, in actuality, a lot of these games are rated mature. So, you're supposed to be over 17 or have the consent of an adult. Personally, I, I think most adult, I think most parents that buy video games for their kids, they don't do their research. They don't look into it. They don't see what the content is. They don't see the graphic nature, whatever. They just buy the game because the kid won't shut up about it and they want to make little Billy happy. So, gotta, be, uh, gotta buy Billy the game for his birthday or for Christmas or whatever. So, I mean, that does give us the advantage of, uh, having the game a little bit sooner because you know some of us either we save up or we just get the games because we got the money and we want them um, yeah so I think that's kind of the different kinds of gamers you got 
I mean, in every group, I think you have people that, you know, they, they like different game types. They play different different strategies. Some play objectives, some don't. I mean, it's just, I think it's all about your personality and kind of whatever tactics work well for you. I mean, because everybody can't play with the same gun. Everybody can't play with the same style and same loadout and everything. So, I mean, you pretty much just have to find what works for you and go with that. So, um, moving on. As far as Modern Warfare 3 goes, at this point, I don't know, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship because sometimes I really love it and sometimes I really hate it. It's really a not consistent game. Um, all these updates and everything I think have, have ruined it. I think it's made it worse since they started doing all the updates. Some of you may not agree, but I mean, it just seems like the connections are horrible. You get into a lobby, you can have four bars, but you're skipping all over the place. Um, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I've, up to this point, Black Ops has definitely been my, my most fun, uh, my most enjoyable, and personally my favorite. Um, it was the most balanced. I felt like it was, uh, I mean, you know, it had its power weapons. It had the 74U and it had the FAMAS. But, you know, everybody used them, so it wasn't that big of a deal. It wasn't just one weapon that pretty much owned, like in certain games. I mean, this game, the Type 95, I think it is the most overrated and uh, overpowered piece of crap. Um, personally, I, I can't kill everybody with one burst from it. Some people kill me all the time with a single burst, and I can't do it. It takes me two or three bursts. So, you know, I'd rather run around with my MK14 like I got in this match with my ACOG and uh, extended mags because, you know, two to three rounds, you're putting people down. Um, I've run into several groups of people before and got multi kills because, you know, I got an MK14 with extended mags and I just let loose on them. And they're running around with PP90s and freaking uh, umps and I mow them down. I mean, it, it comes down to the damage. I mean, yeah, all those guns have a faster fire rate because I don't use a, I don't use any mods or anything. I don't have any special control or anything like that. I'm not going to spend an extra sixty dollars for a controller when I can do something with my finger. I mean, come on, how, how much sense does that make? But um, yeah, so let's talk about this match a little bit because it's, it's nearly winding down. Um, I'm playing with a group of friends. Um, some of them are actually related. One's a, one's a father, the other's a son. And, uh, yeah, we pretty much just do a good job. I mean, I mean, we pretty much have them blocked in the whole match. There's not much they can do. Um, some of my other friends were doing really well as well as myself. So, you know, I mean, if you know how to play, if you know how to play with strategy and you know the, the, con the concept of domination, of taking two flags and leaving them one so they spawn there, and then you just choke point them to death, it's pretty simple. So, I mean, everybody has their strategy. Whatever works with you, uh, just keep doing what you do. So the match is winding down. Um, as I said, KD is 31-5. and five. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just got a new mic. It's a blue snowball. So I hope the audio quality is a little better. Click the buttons at the bottom. Rate, comment, like, subscribe. I do appreciate you watching. I'll see you around.